Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ryan SRT YouTube 64. Back at again with another video for you guys. Going into another room so it's nice and quiet and I can record. So, Nintendo just dropped their newest um, Switch model, the Nintendo Lite. Go away! <clears throat> Anyways, so Nintendo dropped the Nintendo Lite on us. And the light looks pretty okay, but if you already have a Switch, I don't think there's a really good reason to go buy it. I mean, like, it's smaller, but it just doesn't have the advantage that the regular Switch does. It, the um, Switch Lite is basically straight up just a handheld. And I know the Switch is a handheld, but it can do more than just be a handheld, so there's that. It is really interesting. It's really nice that the Switch Lite has a D-pad, but why don't you just make a standard Joy-Con that has a D-pad? To me, I think that would make sense. Yes, and you do have the Hori D-pads, but they're not as good as a regular Joy-Con, in my opinion. They're just... They, they're not wireless, and that's the whole point of a Joy-Con, in my opinion. It needs to be wireless and has a rumble and all that stuff. You can get them custom-made, but at that point, what's the point? So... <laughs> Man, there is some annoying. It's appropriate discussion. No, it's not. Oh man, they're just idiots. Just little weed in here. <laughs> Anyways, so like, so ultimately, this the switch light is neat. Is a neat little thing. But honestly, I don't think it's really that useful. Uh, I'm sorry, guys, for the background noise. So, anyways, I think. Anyways, I'm sorry guys, the, one of the roommates I have is um, getting on my nerves right now, and is being very rude. Anyways, ultimately, the Switch Lite, it's neat, it's a handheld system, it's got a D-pad, it's small, it's compact, it's like, less than the size of a Joy-Con, uh, Joy-Con in length I should say, but the ultimate problem with it, in my opinion, is it's only a handheld, I never saw it go into a dock or anything. And I don't even know if you can hook up an external controller to it. So it's legit just a handheld, which is kind of, eh, kind of lame in my opinion. So it's basically a 3DS souped up and you can play Switch games. So overall, I think it's kind of, eh, in my opinion. Could it be cool? Yes. But here's my ultimate problem with it. I would get one, but what would be the point of it? I already have a regular Switch. And, um, so I, pers personally, I think it's cool, but I have no use for it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think it, it's a good price, I'll give you that, but, I don't know, just, I think, like, $200 I could be spending on it, could go to more games, or go to my, or just something more productive, in my opinion. It's cool if you think it's a good deal to go get one for $200, it's a, it's a Switch, um, you can't play on um, 1-2 Switch, but that game is just kind of eh anyway, so not a big deal, not a big deal there. Um, so, um, yeah. Uh, another thing one of my friends brought up was what happens if one of the Joy-Cons is drifting, you can't detach it and get a new set? I really wonder what they're going to do about that. Maybe the drifting problem isn't there and they've been working on getting rid of that drift problem, but who really knows? So, ultimately, the Switch Lite, it's cool. But really not my thing. So, this is Ryan SRT264. Sorry, I'm me amigos. So, peace out, guys. I hope you guys have a great day. And, um, what are you guys' thoughts about the Switch Lite? Is it cool? Is it lame? Should I fix my Switch? Which, it's not broken, but something may or may not have broke off. Probably. I should probably fix it. So, this is Ryan SRT264. Sorry, I'm me amigos. Peace.